Optimus Prime was my impossible dream. It was so far-fetched, so ridiculously out of whack, I might as well try applying to the NASA space program. You know, it was, um, it was what I mean by that. I mean, some of these things that a lot of people are surprised to hear, I was never a trucker before this. I had never even stepped foot into a tractor trailer until I embarked on that journey. I had to obtain my commercial Class A CDL in order to drive Optimus Prime. I'm not a driver for a living, and I don't plan on hauling anything with it, but I had to get it in order to legally drive that. But that was one of those roadblocks, you know, when I'm thinking about doing something like this impossible dream, how am I going to drive that truck if I've never even been in a semi in my life? You know, another thing that a lot of people don't realize is that we built that truck strictly from pictures and videos of the originals. Um, because the truck was so new, Age of Extinction was so new, very few people had seen it, and the few who did posted some pictures online here and there. But we did it all from pictures. We didn't have any blueprints or specs or nothing. So when you're looking at a picture, you really can't tell the diameter of a pipe or the length of a piece or how things are put together just from those photos. So we had to replicate it best, uh, best we could, and I think we did a pretty good job on it. But that was, again, one of those roadblocks. How am I going to build this truck if I've never seen it before in my life? Um, and then there was Hasbro, you know. I had to, or I rather chose, to see if they would be willing to give me the permission to do this. Will Hasbro even allow me to do and legally build Optimus Prime? And I'm fortunate enough to say they did. They gave me the legal permission to do it. And I'm very fortunate to say it only took a month and a half as opposed to six months. <laughs> not sleeping for a month and a half is much better than not sleeping for six months. So, thank you guys. I appreciate the opportunity to build it and uh, share it with everybody here and around the country. Um, but all of these things, you know, this is what kind of made this journey impossible for me. At the end of the day, I did it. I decided to take that leap of faith with the support of my family, and I pursued my dream, and I did it. And a lot of people ask me why I chose Optimus. I mean, obviously, I love Optimus Prime. I love his morals, his character, everything he represents in the franchise. He is that leader that you just kind of naturally want to follow. But one of the main reasons I did this was for my son, Ryan. Ryan, would you mind staying up for a minute just so everybody can see? So, right here in the middle of the room is my son, Ryan. He is, uh, he's 10 now. He was 8 at the time we decided to do this. And I wanted to do this as a way for me as a dad to show him not to be afraid to pursue something even if no one else in the world has ever done it before. Um, this was my impossible dream, like I said. And this was my way of showing them, you know what, when you grow up and you have a dream and you want to do something, even if you don't have all the answers, even if you don't have all the money, if you don't have any clue how you're going to get started, don't be afraid to try. And that's, I guess, kind of my message to all of you here, you know, you can either try and succeed or you try and fail. But either way, when you look back at that moment in your life, you can at least say, I tried. Um, all of you here, you know, you're getting a very prestigious award. This is a very big milestone in your journey but it's also a small milestone in you know, your journey through life. But what you decide to do with the knowledge and everything you've gained from this program is up to you. My message to you is simple. Whatever dreams you have, you've heard it all day today, don't be afraid to pursue them, but realize there will be times that you're gonna wanna give up, there will be roadblocks, and there will be plenty of people who try to bring you down. Even if you succeed, you will have people that will point out every flaw and every fault and everything you've done wrong and try to bring you back down from that high. But my message is, tune them all out, focus on you, focus on your dreams. It's all of us, or rather it's up to us, to really live a great life and to leave behind a legacy worthy of the prime. Thank you very much everybody, congratulations.